Hmm, what is the future of astronomy, and why is it important? It probably isn't. If this qualifies me for an F, that's alright, at least it was entertaining. But, I suppose it might come in handy when we decide to appropriate funds to space, and not to war. And how will this be solved? Well, hopefully mathematically. I've charted astronomical discoveries, given them point based upon my own personal system, and we will consider what is yet to be found, and hopefully, what might be the future of astronomy. This isn't a prophecy of Nostradamus, but an educated guess. And of course this assumes that we're not blown to smithereens. To predict the future of astronomy, we must carefully consider the past. I think we'll see that a relationship can be made. I thought the best way to come to a solution is to graph the number of significant astronomical discoveries within a particular thousand year period. My system begins with the Mayans in 8000 BC and finishes with the International Space Station on the brink of the millennium. It should be noted that the discoveries in this data are things that we know because of records that have been left behind. There may have been many discoveries in the past which have not been accounted for in this data, but it shouldn't affect the equation too much. Before I unleash the results, I would like to highlight some of my favorite discoveries. So here it goes. 4000 BC, the Egyptians institute the 365 day calendar. 1860 BC, Stonehenge is constructed. 500 BC, Pythagoras suggests the Earth is sphere. 194 BC, Eratosthenes calculates the size of the Earth. 1543, Copernicus publishes the theory that the Earth revolves around the Sun. 1608, Hans Lippershey invents the telescope. 1609, Galileo Galilei improves the telescope. 1865, Jules Verne calculates that an object must have a velocity of 7 miles a second to escape the Earth's gravity. 1905, Albert Einstein publishes the theory of relativity. 1961, Yuri Gagarin is the first man in space. Alan B. Shepard is the first American in space. 1969, Neil Armstrong is the first man on the moon. 1998, construction started on the International Space Station. Here are the results. Now, I must warn you. The complexity of this data can be frightening. As you can see, it's an exponential function. You may consider that bogus. I call that the backbone of my astronomy project. So what is the future of astronomy? I have no idea. Here's the data. Take a stab at it. But beware, as Professor Gottfried has said many times, data can be interpreted in many ways. So what did we learn? If nothing, at least you heard some good music. Who am I kidding? Who am I fooling? When they be like, what's up, that look? And I say, cool then. Who am I kidding? Who am I fooling? When they be like, what's up, that look? And I say, cool then. Who am I kidding? Who am I fooling? When they be like, what's up, that